I am positive that everyone watching this video has someone in their life or like even know someone just in passing that they think is so cool like not like the person is like the most popular person or like someone who has a ton of friends even but just someone who seems so cool and you don't always know what it is about them but it's just like the way that they carry themselves and everything they do ends up seeming like so much cooler than like what you can do and like you feel like you're like the awkward one who never does anything right and like they're the one that always has their life together and just seems above it all but like what actually makes someone cool it's not having expensive clothes or even always being the life of the party it's something else like some sort of vibe that they just give off and more of a persona that they envelop so today we're gonna talk about what actually makes someone cool because I think it's something that everyone can actually achieve if you have the confidence to do it so my first observation about cool people is that they are totally fine with their own company and they're totally fine being alone like they genuinely enjoy their own company and they don't need to constantly have other people telling them like what to do or how to feel like the quote-unquote cool person is independent enough to not need other people to feel like they're having a good time enjoying being alone goes along with not being bored when it's just you there and actually Actually finding things like hobbies that you enjoy doing that you don't need other people to do with you so if we're analyzing this more I feel like being cool means having passions that you care about and things that you actually want to do and spend your time on that aren't related to other people like that's another thing that I've realized when I think about like the people that I think of as cool it's that they all have these really unique and niche passions that they really really care about like there are a lot of people who love records or collecting books or reading or specific music genres and just because they love it so much and they know so much about it it becomes a part of who they are and I think that that's what makes someone actually really cool but it's not even like it's a mainstream thing it's more like they like it just for the sake of liking it and they genuinely like it like it's not a trend they're trying to follow along with it's actually something that they enjoy regardless of what other people think which just goes back to confidence again because another trait of a cool person that I realized is that cool people don't project their insecurities onto others like maybe they have them but it usually seems like something that they're dealing with themselves and that they project an air of confidence that other people can't seem to achieve and I also think that this goes along with the sort of humor that's self-deprecation which a lot of people do nowadays but it's really something that I can't exactly get behind because it's basically just saying like reasons why you don't like yourself and then other people like how do you respond to that like it's like you're expecting the people that you're with to be like oh no like you're not ugly like you're so pretty but why is that a form of humor that we gravitate towards I've never seen it as very funny to talk down to yourself or to others for that reason like definitely do not make jokes at the expense of others but talking badly about yourself is almost just as bad as talking badly about other people like if you wouldn't say the joke about yourself to someone else like if you wouldn't say that someone else is so ugly like why are you saying it about yourself it just creates a really awkward situation for everyone involved and that's just like not my favorite kind of humor and I don't think it's the stereotypical cool person kind of humor either like maybe it's thrown in there every once in a while but it's definitely not like the main thing in their portfolio of jokes because if you can't make a joke that's actually funny that's not making fun of someone else then I don't know if you're actually funny or just actually kind of mean but it all just comes back to being secure with yourself and liking yourself and showing that to the world like the cool people that we look up to are people who are so confident and you wonder how they do it because for example think about the clothes that people wear like if an outfit that someone is wearing looks like a very generic outfit that everyone wears and it's just trendy right now like there's nothing wrong with that for sure there is nothing wrong with that but it's not usually those kind of outfits that people look at and think like wow that's so cool those outfits just kind of get ignored because it's the run of the mill outfit that everyone's wearing the sort of outfit that makes you stop in your tracks and be like oh my gosh like their outfit is so cool like did you see that is when someone is wearing something different and when they're having a ton of confidence when wearing it like if you just had those clothes laid out on the floor with no one in it and you like looked at it maybe it doesn't look like it matches or maybe it looks really ugly but when someone is wearing it with that much confidence then it kind of seems like the coolest thing you've ever seen and you wish that you could be wearing something that confidently so once again I'm just realizing that coolness kind of just circles back around to being confidence what a crazy thought and then just one more thing that makes someone cool in my opinion maybe this is also related to confidence but just in a slightly different way but I think it's so cool when people have opinions about the world that they form themselves and that they're not afraid to share like someone arguing or explaining passionately about something that they are very educated on makes them seem so 
smart. And sometimes in today's world, it seems unique that someone has their own opinion formed on something. So often we get told what to think in school and by our friends and we just say things to fit in but when someone has a unique opinion that really makes you stand out and seem like your brain has more going on than just what you're hearing and that you're actually processing the world and coming up with a new thing to say also going along with that notice that i said that they have something cool to say about the world in general and not just about themselves it's not that talking about yourself doesn't make you cool or likable or relatable or anything like that, but being able to talk about something outside of yourself and relate to hardships and struggles and experiences that aren't your own actually makes you seem so much cooler and so much more educated. If someone just complains about their own personal day all day, like no one wants to listen to that. Even if it's humorous, like I said, like self-deprecation, like it can be pretty funny, but eventually that's just so much negative energy going out into the world and nothing productive is coming from it. So to me, this coolness or uniqueness comes when you have something new to say that's not just complaining and it's actually a conversation starter about an interesting topic. And I think that that's something that you're gonna realize as you grow older because in middle school I definitely just wanted to fit in I thought the coolest thing to be and like the way to be popular was to be like everyone else and to spend a lot of money on my clothes and to talk about boys and to not talk about anything that I actually found interesting I mean I do find boys interesting but there's more things to talk about than just like your personal life there's so many other options to talk about in the world and so many interesting things to learn so what can you do if you want to be cool which everyone I guess does in a way but maybe not in the same way as everyone else wants to feel if that makes sense like there's not one type of cool person there's a lot of attributes that go together to make someone seem cool to other people and just from talking about all of this i realized that the things that matter most are confidence liking yourself being able to be alone and having unique interests that aren't projected onto you by other people. And I think that the way to achieve this is to actually spend some time with yourself and think about what you would want to do if no one was telling you to do things, like if no one was telling you to study for school, or if you had no limit of how much money you could use to do a project or to travel somewhere, like what would you do with all that free time? I think that thinking about that question is gonna show you your true desires in life and the things that you actually care about. And now that you know those things, like dive into them and learn as much as possible and try to make those dreams a reality. So just put it all out there, put it on the line and try to get that dream life that you want. And along the way, people are gonna admire you for your confidence and your conviction in the things that you want in life and the things that you're gonna do to achieve those goals. So coolness did we cover it all probably not there's probably more to say about this topic but i think it's really important to dissect this idea of coolness and show you it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing being confident truly comes down to liking yourself so work on that as your first step and all other happiness in life will follow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video even a little bit or learned something or that it made you think I don't know I hope it did something for you and if it did then please subscribe to my channel so we can talk about more interesting things in the future and give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time all you cool cool people